Lesson 1.2c, Writing Inequalities. This is the third part of Lesson 1.2. An inequality is a statement that two quantities are not equal. Inequalities use this symbol, this is, is less than, or this symbol is greater than. And this is an inequality, 2 is less than 5, and so is this, 10 is greater than 7. But these are not inequalities because remember, they are, it's a statement that two quantities are not equal. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. That's not an inequality. That's an equation. And 4 equals 4, that's not an inequality because they're not supposed to be equal to be an inequality. Inequalities use either a less than or greater than symbol. When writing an inequality, we need to be careful to use the correct symbol, and there's several ways to remember them. Maybe back in second grade, your teacher said, big mouth eats the big number. You can also think of it as you grab the bigger number and your hand is shaped like the symbol. So if you're grabbing the big number on this side, well, then you're going to use the less than. And if you're grabbing the number with your right hand because it's on this side, well, that's going to be greater than. And you can also think of it as this, this less than symbol is kind of shaped like a crooked L for less than. You can also think of it as the small n points to the lesser number and the big open side goes towards the bigger number, the greater number. And maybe you can think of your own way to remember it. So this symbol means is greater than. We would read this inequality as 5 is greater than negative 1. And this symbol means is less than. We would read this inequality as negative 3 is less than 4. We can use a number line to help us write an inequality. It's telling us to compare. So we need to compare the numbers and then write is greater than or is less than the symbols in the circle. And we can use the number line to help us. Here we have negative 4, that's right here, and we have a positive 4, that's right here. And if you remember from the previous lessons, our values increase as we head to the right, and our values decrease as we head to the left, so this must be the lesser number. Negative 4 is less than 4. Here we have negative 2 and negative 3. Let's clean up our number line. Here we have negative 2 is right here and negative 3 is right here. The lesser number is farther left. That means negative 3 is the lesser number. That means negative 2 is greater than negative 3. So the lesser number is graphed farther to the left and when comparing negative integers, the number with more magnitude is the lesser number. So you may see this and say, oh, well, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's getting greater, but it's not. It's going like you're deeper into debt. You're deeper below zero. So these are lesser numbers. These are the greater numbers. The numbers on a number line go on infinitely in both directions. They go on forever in each direction. And that's why number lines have arrowheads on each end. So this could be nine, negative 9 million way over here, and this could be positive 9 million way, to, way over here. It could be even more because it goes on infinitely in either direction. Here we have another number line. It goes from positive 10 to negative 10. And it's telling us to use this number line to write two inequalities to compare negative 6 and 5. So that's a positive 5. There's no sign in front of it. It's a positive 5. This is negative 6 right here. This is 5 right here. We know the lesser number is farther to the left, so negative 6 is less than 5. We need to write another one, 
So we need to use the greater than and less than symbol. We need to use a greater than symbol. If negative 6 is less than 5, then we can switch it around and say 5 is greater than negative 6. And we've written two inequalities to compare negative 6 and 5. When we wrote it like this, we flipped the sign around and switched places with the numbers to write the second one. We use the is greater than symbol to compare a greater number to a lesser number. We use an is less than symbol to compare a lesser number to a greater number. So if you look, the greater number is over here, and we've got the greater than symbol. Now that the greater number is over here, our symbol flipped. We traded places with the numbers, and our sign flipped the other direction. So, a positive 2 is greater than a negative 2. You can look at it as having $2 or owing $2. So I'll add this video to the 6th grade math course playlist. And our next lesson, the last part of 1.2 is 1.2D. And we're going to talk about constructing number lines. We want to make number lines that will help us and that will fit the problem. Remember to be very careful to pay attention to the sign before the number when you're writing these inequalities so you have the symbol facing the correct direction. I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you'll join me next time, and I also hope you'll hit the like button for me. Bye.